As powerful as many animals can be, few of them are a close match for a skilled hunter carrying a firearm. Say what you will, but in a confrontation, the one with the firepower is always going to have the upper hand. That was certainly the case with an elk that was shot by 69-year-old hunter Gary Hader of Bend, Oregon, while the man was recently partaking in a hunting trip with a group of his friends. When Gary walked over to claim his prey, however, he was in for a dose of what some people are calling karmic retribution. No matter how big, tough, or seemingly vicious any given animal might be, the chances are slim that they're a match for a skilled hunter carrying a firearm. The odds are simply too strong in the hunter's favor in these scenarios. While hunting is enjoyable for those who love and respect the sport, many others have criticized the practice for moral reasons. These critics often consider the very act of hunting a defenseless animal as cruel and unnecessary. Nevertheless, its popularity is unwavering, as an innumerable amount of die-hard hunters participate in the sport around the world every day. One such hunter is Gary Heater, a 69-year-old man from Bend, Oregon, who had a recent run-in with an elk that took a drastic turn for the worse. When Gary encountered an elk out in the wilderness, he carefully shot and killed the animal. Like he would any other kill, he approached it on his ATV, being sure to tie it to the back using hunter's rope so he could begin to drag it home. As Gary and his hunting buddies drove off on their ATVs, they approached a steep hill, and his vehicle suddenly flipped over. Not only was he tossed from the vehicle, but he also had the unfortunate luck of landing directly on top of the animal's sharp antlers. Gary's friends immediately rushed to his side. They quickly realized he'd been gored by one of the elk's antlers. They called for an emergency crew and waited as a rescue helicopter would have to be brought in to retrieve them from the woods. A rescue helicopter arrived on the scene, and Gary was rushed to the nearby St. Charles Hospital. When the deputy arrived at the crash scene, he found Heater was conscious and communicative, but appeared to be going into shock a representative from the Crook County Sheriff's Office said. Luckily for Gary, even though his injuries appeared gruesome, he didn't suffer any injuries to his internal organs. However, a number of activists around the world have reached out and expressed they feel the incident was a form of karmic retribution. No matter how you feel about hunting, you should wish that Gary had a speedy recovery. That being said, Perhaps this story will bring more awareness to the dangers of hunting, both for humans and animals. Gary's accident serves as a reminder that you never truly know what can happen at any given point in time. Thankfully, it appears that he is going to be just fine, aside from a little ego bruising that might have taken place. Gary's situation is certainly up for debate, but you have to at least hope that he'll be okay. Please share this important story with your friends below. Subscribe for more.